These five tools under $20 or £20 will change your DIY projects forever. They are small, they are cheap, and if they've solved my problems, I am sure they will solve one of your problems too. So what do you need to know? These are tools I have used for years. I will be showing you videos of when I've used them in real life examples. So I've had them for years. They are all affordable under $20 or £20. I've bought them all myself, none of them are gifted. And they are things that I recommend to friends and family and you. If you have a brilliant, affordable DIY tool or gadget that you want to recommend for other people in the comments, please leave it below. I'm sure we would all love to learn new gadgets that we can find that will make our lives easier. Brilliant tools don't have to be expensive. This one is one of my cheaper five options and it is these painter's pyramids. So useful that they even up there, they're on display because they just make my life so much easier. These ones cost about $9 or £9. As you'll see, there's not a single pyramid that doesn't have paint on it because that is how much I use them. Please excuse or enjoy the footage filmed by a three-year-old of painting this bookshelf. So why it's so good, it keeps the furniture up off of the floor so you can paint all the way down to the edges and get a nice smooth paint line down to the bottom. You really want them when your piece is going to be stable, staying in the same place from start to finish. So for example, I recently had my patio table and benches in here to paint them and that would not have worked with the pyramids because I was pushing them this way and that way to get to the different sides and underneath. The result of having a patio furniture on the floor without pyramids was that the floor has now been painted quite a lot and I haven't tidied it up yet so I thought I would show you how a messy floor can look without these genius little painter's pyramids. This is the only tool that I haven't actually got video footage for and for the good reason that I've only ever demonstrated this over on my blog, tunforgetmenots.com. This little gadget is the cheapest one on my list. It is about six dollars, six pounds or so, and it is a trigger handle for a spray paint can. If you have a spray paint like this one without a trigger grip built in, this is what attaches to the top. And then to use the spray paint, you simply pull the trigger handle and it's so much more comfortable for doing spray paint over a longer period of time than having your finger on the button at the top. One of my favourite projects that I used this spray can handle trigger for was these concrete trinket dishes that I made. I made the mould using a balloon that I popped and then used a stone effect spray paint to create the colour and texture afterwards. It was such a fun project, in fact I should probably do a video on it because I think you would love to create it yourself as well. But that's just the sort of idea of what you could use your spray can handle for, something when you're painting either a few different coats or across a larger surface as well and it's really helpful. For me it is uncomfortable to use a spray can handle for any length of time. But if you are someone who has maybe a touch of arthritis in your hands or it's just uncomfortable for you to use a spray can handle too, then this could be a great product for you. It's really affordable, very lightweight and actually makes spraying much more comfortable and easy. Have you ever tried to change a handle on a piece of furniture, put new holes in and then stood back and thought, is that straight? Is that, is that slightly wonky? Well, me too friend, me too. And this might be the brilliant tool that you need in your life. This is a handle locator tool. In fact, I've created a three minute video guide on how to use this previously. So if you're interested, you should check that out to see if this will work for you. But essentially what you do, you measure the size of your hardware, you set this side against the drawer, and then you drill in to the handle holes to make sure that your new handles are nice and level. I don't use the word game changer lightly, but if this is something that you struggle with to get your new handle holes straight, then this might be the one for you.
sanding. Does anybody like sanding particularly? It's certainly not my activity of choice. So anything that can make sanding easier is something that I want to try. So that brings me to these rubber sanding pads. This packet of rubber sanding pads fits around sandpaper and they're all slightly different shapes, some for curved edges, some for corners. You wrap your sandpaper around and it means that you can get precise sanding into those ornate details or corners. These are great for sanding those unusual shapes, those tricky corners that you just can't get the sandpaper folded into the right position for and it makes doing a better, more consistent sanding job. Quickly popping in from the future because there was something in that video that I wanted to talk about quickly and it was this sandpaper. It's not one of the bargain tools but it is excellent. This is a giant box, I'm not going to take it out because you'll see it will cause a bit of an avalanche but it is a sandpaper that has foam backing so it's really soft and nice to you. So an excellent choice if you're in the market for a hand sandpaper. Okay, back to past Rachel. And my last but definitely not least is something that I showed when I fitted these little boxes to my she shed. If you've ever tried to mark where you need to drill a hole and either your pencil is slightly off center or you can't even get to the hole because of the shape of the bracket that you're fitting it through, then this is the one for you. Essentially, this is to mark where you're going to drill a hole. And you can see when I... And you can see when I used it on this one, these holes are too thick for a pencil to mark through. So previously I've used it with a screw to make a slight indent to get to the right spot, but this chalk marker works even better. All you do is put it against the hole and it shoots a jet of a chalk into the spot where you're going to drill. It's perfect for giving you the mark where you need to drill a hole. And one of my favorite things, it makes a really cute little noise when you use it. <laughs> was there at all in this list that would help solve one of your problems i hope so or if you have a recommendation for a different affordable diy tool either for me or for others in the comments please leave it in the comments so we can all find new diy tools together thank you so much for watching if you found this video useful please consider subscribing it makes a huge difference to smaller channels like mine until next time, thanks so much. Bye.